Hello everyone, welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over making a menu. We're going to make it from uh, start to finish and I'm going to go through every step that I'm going to go through uh, while I'm making this. Now this menu is going to be very simple. It's not going to be anything uh, complex or like no items menu or stuff that you would find like a JRPG. Uh, but it will be simple enough to get you started and then hopefully that logic will take you guys to create your custom menus. And so that will be what the finished product looks like. I'm in a project that is not set up for that quite yet. And there are three uh, things that we need to consider when making a menu. And the first one is going to be the planning phase. And it, this one's actually the most important. Y you have to come into your menu with a plan. All right. And so what I did for my planning phase is I went to just my image editing software, uh, GIMP. And I was like, well, how do I want my uh, menu to look? So I knew I wanted a background. And I knew I wanted a options uh, menu as well. And then... What I did on another layer is I kind of started throwing around how I wanted my things placed. And when I was satisfied with how it looked, I then hid the, the layer and then I exported this image. So this will be my whole background of my menu. And then I did the same thing with my options. I kind of threw where I wanted my BGM and my sound effects. And then I hid them and exported them. And then I took all of those uh, buttons, I call them, I guess, and I put them in their own sprite sheet so that I could have access to them for when it comes time to place them on the menu scene. And so that's how, that's how my planning went. And so now let's get into it and go into the next step, which is going to be adding your images into your resources, animations, and objects. And when I say objects, I just mean as images, uh, not necessarily the logic yet, because the logic is actually step three. So let's get started. In the resources, I'll add an image, and I have all three of them right here. And the cool thing is, is you can uh, select all of them and open, and it loads them all up. And the only thing that I have to do is, because this is a one by one, as far as partition uh, size goes, and the options one is also one by one, the selections is the only one that I need to change. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So five vertically. And so now I have access, well, now by default, I'll have access to all five. You actually don't have to change this default value, but if you know that's all you're ever going to use it for, you might as well. It saves you an extra step when you're adding animations. All right, so resources are done. Let's go to our animations and let's start to add our menu animations. And you can call it how you like. Uh, we're going to need to register all three of these resources to it. So we want the selections and see by what I meant by when you do the default value in the resource tab, then that's what it automatically defaults it to in the animations. So it just saves you a step there. And then we can add the options background and last the main background. And I'll click OK on this. And that brings us up to starting to set up our motions. I am going to have all of the menu on this one animation. So the, the first motion I want, and you'll notice that we're, our center is the top left. So let's change that first off. With menu images especially, you definitely want to be center. And that way, if you are ever uh, going to rotate, oh wait, sorry, rotation in um, the editor is actually based off this center. But like if you ever wanted to say have a particle effect 
uh, come from the center of the object, this is where the particle effect would come from. So it would be easier to just say the center instead of placing a connection point right there, if that made any sense. So yeah, just general rule, images are really nice to have center. And then I'm going to delete the wall detection because we do not need uh, any of those. And this motion is going to be the main uh, background. And so under the directions, I'm actually going to choose the main background and then it will automatically change it to that image. And that's really it. I'll just, instead of direction one, uh, zero, zero, 001, I'll just do single. And we don't need to set a direction because this isn't gonna be based off of, of input or uh, display direction. And that's that. We could move the center to right here, but I'm not gonna rotate it or anything. So really leaving the center up there is not gonna be an issue. Now I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm gonna name this one, oops, options background. And sometimes you have to click off and back on. And I'm going to change this to be the options background image. And just like that, it's all done. So now we're gonna to come to the ones that will take up most of our time and that's gonna be the uh, selections. And the reason this is gonna take the longest time here is uh, first off, let me click on selections, all right? The reason why this is gonna take a little longer is because we need to have a way for the player to know that they're on a certain selection. Now you could do this by creating a specific type of thing. However, I just wanted to keep it simple and I'm actually going to use the editor to help the player know when it's selected. So I'm gonna first have, the, the first direction is gonna be resume and it's gonna be when it's on. So I'm gonna have my resume on image and I'm gonna go, uh, go to frame and I'm going to adjust the hue to where only the green is activated. And so that's gonna give us our on look. You can also play with stuff like uh, scale or you could rotate it, give it a little rotate if it's uh, on. Matter of fact, we could do that. If we are to do that, then you would definitely want to make the center in the center. So we would have to find that and then we would come down here to this. Then we could rotate it and it would be rotated based off the center. So yeah, if we wanted to, we could give it like a angle of a negative 10 or uh, say negative five, just a little blip like that. I'm going to keep it simple, but that way you know you do have your options. I've seen some where it's scaled a little bit too. It scales up. That would look cool too. You do got to be careful though of the pixels and remember how uh, pixel scaling works. Sometimes like 105% might not look good. You might have to scale it up on your own in like GIMP or, or uh, Photoshop. All right, so moving on, we need the off now of resume. And all we got to do there is just add back the red and blue hue. So now it will be green when it's selected and it will be white when it's off. And so now that we have this, we can select all of it and copy paste. And now we can go to the next one, which is options. So this is gonna be when options is on and it's gonna be the options uh, image. And then this one is also gonna be the, oh, I guess I'll name it first. Options off. 
All right, and then we can paste again. And this one is going to be when exit game is on. So you can see where I'm going with this. It's actually pretty simple. A lot of copy pasting once you get the initial uh, one set up. And then I'll paste again. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's hard to know where you're at. The highlight is so, um, <laughs> it's, it's not very different than the this color. So this one is the BGM on. And we'll turn on this one. And this one is the BGM off. And we'll turn that one. And last one. Sound effects. Sound effects in BGM is for our options menu. Sound effects. All right, so we should have uh, resume on, resume off, options on, options off, exit game on, off, BGM, and sound effects. So now we're good to go as far as all of our menu goes with animations. Hey everyone, thanks for hanging in there for part one. In part two, we'll go over setting up objects, particularly their images, and then we'll go into the menu scene and we'll place them so we can start getting our menu laid out in our game. And with that, I'll see you at the next video.